A new and exciting update has made its way to Surfshark 1. Should we cover up our webcams on our laptops and phones? What is the single best thing about Surfshark VPN? Let's discuss. If you're looking to get a VPN, then make sure to check the first link in the description below. There you'll find a coupon code called SharkTube, which will give you two extra months when buying Surfshark VPN. Also, as you may already know, my personal wish this holiday season is to get Surfshark Academy to 10,000 subscribers. So if you could hit subscribe and set your notifications to all, I would really appreciate it. What is up guys? Welcome to another edition of Surfshark Academy. So check this out. This is my Apple MacBook M1. And this is my Google Pixel 7. Here is my friend's iPhone 11, and here is an Apple iPad. Now, if you look closely, they all have a little camera right here. The reason why I'm showing you all of these devices is really just to tell you that webcams and cameras are in almost every modern smart device that we use today, be it a phone or a laptop screen or even an actual webcam for desktop PCs. And I don't know how about you, but I was actually on a binge of covering my webcam on my main PC for quite a while. I mean, this camera sees everything. Your face staring at it while you're working, maybe chatting with your friends or coworkers. Knowing the risks of modern hacking solutions, gaining access to someone's actual webcam isn't as difficult as you may think. In cybersecurity, webcam hacking has a term and it's called camfecting. Interesting name, I know. Criminals and hackers can actually use a specific type of malware to gain access to your webcam. And the worst thing about it, in my opinion, is that this malware can even disable the little light that indicates if a camera is in use. For example, on my Google Pixel, you can just about see a little green light that indicates that a camera is actually on. Well, this malware can actually disable this little light and you will not know if anyone is actually spying on you. All in all, your webcam can be hacked in many ways and it's a topic of its own. But generally, phishing attacks and installing malware-filled but legit-looking applications are the most common. You might download a game or an app that looks fine on the surface, but in reality, it's just a window to your computer and more specifically, your webcam. And that's where the new Surfshark 1 antivirus update comes in. Say hello to webcam protection. At the moment, this is only available on Apple Mac OS, starting with the 4.6.0 update. However, it will be coming to Windows Surfshark app later this month. Keep in mind that for this to work, you will also need an active Surfshark 1 subscription. You can upgrade via Surfshark.com if you're interested. But after updating your app, head to the antivirus tab. And here, just below the real-time protection setting, you will see webcam protection. To enable it, just toggle it and allow Surfshark to access your apps list so that it can gather what applications require your webcam. After that, a list of apps will appear and here just select the apps you trust to use your webcam. And this is important, make sure to only select the apps that 100% need a webcam to function. For instance, I selected Discord and Zoom. Afterwards, you can remove trusted apps if you want from this menu over here. And just like that, webcam protection is now enabled. For this feature to work, you don't have to have antivirus real-time protection enabled or to be connected to the VPN. What I really like about this update is that you will also get notifications when an untrusted app will try to access your webcam. That way you can root out which apps are being a little sneaky. So to sum up, I think that this is a great update overall that will hopefully prevent any criminals from looking at you through your webcam. And I've seen questions wondering if you already have an antivirus, should you still use this feature? Well, the answer to that question is yes. And that is because of the previous example with the legit looking apps. Apps that look legit and try to basically fake something, they don't necessarily have malicious code on their own and they look legit to the antivirus software unless they are flagged. However, that, in air quotes, legit app can still transmit your webcam data straight to the hacker's hands. In addition, apps that are already installed on your PC or Mac can be hacked since they have security vulnerabilities of their own. So whether you have an antivirus or don't have an antivirus, enabling webcam protection is definitely recommended. Anyway, I hope that answers that question. And now it's time for our community poll of the week. As you may know, we run various community polls related to CyberSec, Surfshark, and Tech Daily on our channel. So make sure to cast your votes when a new poll is released. 
This time we ran a poll asking you, what do you think is the best thing about Surfshark VPN? I listed three things in total, those being app design, a vast number of VPN countries, and accessibility options. Now, of course, I could have listed a ton of other things like no logs policy, the fast VPN speeds, unlimited devices support, and much more. But I focused on just these three and well, over 70% of you think that the amount of servers that Surfshark VPN offers is the best thing about Surfshark VPN. And well, I have to agree, as VPN countries to connect to is the core feature of a VPN. At the same time, it was nice to see that you guys also appreciate the app design on Surfshark apps. I, for one, I'm a really big fan of the design for Surfshark apps. It looks sleek, nice, simple, and visually appealing. But that is all for this video. As always, leave a like if you enjoyed it. In the comments, let me know what you thought of the update. Stay cool, stay awesome, and take care.